What's up everyone, my name is Adityo and welcome to HD Tech. Well guys, couple of days ago, I made a video about my new MacBook Pro and in that particular video, I have discussed that I will make a complete video telling how you can get the MacBook Pro or any MacBook for that matter for the lowest price possible. Well guys, with the help of this video, you will have a clear idea that how you should buy your next MacBook. Well, I have purchased the MacBook Pro, but for you, you might be interested in the MacBook Air or even the 16 inch MacBook Pro and for that matter, a 2019 model or the 2020 model. Well guys, in this particular video, I am going to be telling you all of the different type of offers and combining all of them, what is the best way to buy a new MacBook. Well guys, straight away, before coming to all of the small offers, it is very much important that from which place you are buying a MacBook. Well guys, for example, right now in India, there is not that good of an offer. Even if you apply all of the HDFC discounts and few cashback offers, still the overall price is pretty much still very high. So ultimately, the place from where you buy your MacBook plays the biggest role in the entire price drop. So make sure that if you are planning to buy a new MacBook, then try your level best to buy it outside India. Well, yes, I know, you know, majority amount of people's relatives don't live in the United States, but try your level best to make an arrangement. Suppose if you know any far off relative who is living there and who is coming back to India, then try your level best to buy it from there. Because see, even in United States, don't buy it from official Apple store. Well, it is all on you. If you want to have that experience, then you can buy from the Apple store. But if not, if you want to have the best deal, then you should actually look for eBay. You should look for Walmart or from Best Buy. Well, guess in all of the three major websites, which I have just mentioned, you will get all of the MacBooks. Let that be a 2019 model or the latest ones. But you know what? Currently, the MacBook Pro M1 or the MacBook Air M1 is in very high demand and we all know that it is way cheaper. So the Apple's own M1 based Macs are way cheaper than the Intel ones. But right now, the biggest demand is for M1 Macs because the performance is next level, the battery efficiency is next level and for the future, definitely investing behind M1 processor is a clear way. And now, on the other hand, it is now a big pressure on all of the third-party resellers. Let that be Walmart, Best Buy or even Apple. Well, they all know they have already made all of the Intel-based MacBooks. But now, the demand for M1 is constantly increasing. So now they are having no other option than to do price drop. Because it is pretty much obvious that if you are getting a way more enhanced performance for less price tag, then people will obviously go for the M1 variant. And that's the reason. Now, Apple and all of other third-party retailers are dropping the price tag and right now in Walmart and in Best Buy you're getting minimum $50 off and max to max $200 of discount on all of the Intel variants so definitely if you're planning to buy a MacBook then try to buy it from either Walmart Best Buy or on eBay but make sure if you're buying it from eBay then you are aware of all of the situations because on eBay, you are not just seeing all of the new MacBooks, but at the same time, the used ones, the refurbished ones, and also few MacBooks are on auction. So be clever if you're buying from eBay. And now let us discuss about the most interesting part. And this is regarding all of the smaller offers, because if, if you will end up adding all of the small offers, then as a result, the overall price drop will be very much substantial. So the first offer is regarding the student discount. Well, guys, I know that majority amount of people who are planning to buy the MacBook for the lowest price are students. And to avail this particular offer, you have to follow few basic steps. First of all, you have to go on eBay, Walmart or Best Buy and click on the particular student section and there they will ask you to insert your email id so what you have to do is you have to take your college related email id and paste it there after one minute you will get an otp on that particular email account and later on you have to paste that particular otp in the given space and after that easily your student discount will be applied so with the help of this you can literally get 200 dollars discount on a specific macbook so this is the best portion 
So if you have now made a complete decision that I want to buy this particular bank book and later on if you have even applied your student discount then comes the most interesting part. Well guys see right now you know if you are using Apple Pay then you will get 5% cash back on your overall order. It goes same with other cards like if you are having a card by American Express or even a HDFC card then also you are getting 3-5% to of overall cash back and this is a major deal. And you know what, this particular cashback is not only limited on one time payment, suppose if you want to buy a new MacBook on installments and on EMI, then also behind every single EMI installment, you will get 5% cashback. So overall, it is pretty much the same, you know, even if you decide to buy the MacBook on full payment or if you decide to buy it on installments, still you can avail this particular cashback. And now comes the most interesting part. Well guys, because of these kind of websites, what you are getting is a promo code option. So there are various third party websites in which you have to paste a particular product link and later on they will provide you a nice coupon code. So what you have to do is, there are several websites, I don't want to take their name but after applying this particular link, you will get a promo code and if you will apply that exact promo code, then you will get additional 5-10% to discount, literally 5-10% to discount on a MacBook. So now let us assume that you have purchased your MacBook and it is currently with your relatives. But whenever your relatives will come back to India, then tell them that you have to remove the MacBook out of the box and keep in your backpack. So what you have to do is you can take the big box and put in the carry-on luggage or in the check-in luggage. But the main thing is to remove the MacBook from the box. So if you will do so, then you will not have to pay any of the custom charges and later on when the product will come in India, then you can enjoy it. Well, with the help of this video, I am not here to say that there is only one single offer and after applying that, we will straight away get 60% discount. But if you will follow all of these steps, then definitely you will get minimum 40% discount and max to max 60% discount. So because of this, you are avoiding all of the import duties, you are avoiding the custom charges, you are using the student discount option, you are getting EMI and also you are getting the cashback. So overall combining all of the factors, definitely the price tag will be way cheaper cheaper than that of in India. Well guess as if for now, I have no experience buying a MacBook in India because we all know the price tag is simply ridiculous. But if you will follow all of these steps, then definitely the end result will be very much promising. Well guys, with the help of this particular step, now you will be able to buy a MacBook for a price of a Windows computer. So definitely, I hope that this particular video was helpful and guys, Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel because it motivates me a lot to make more of this kind of videos. So guys, I will meet you with another beautiful video. Until then, peace.